Welcome to our 30th event. We are fiercely independent. We're not bankrolled by any lobby, by any government, by any think tank, by any organization. Very, very few organizations can afford or are the way we are. They're all bought and sold. One thing I will never accept, being bought and sold by anyone. Freedom really is freedom of expression. And the way you acquire freedom is making obscene wealth. Our job is to empower our constituents to make as much money as possible. And if you look at our history, the kind of speakers we've invited, they all have one thing in common. They are all mavericks, very special people who think totally outside the box or like there is no box even. And that's how we like it. Other kinds of people bore us. Marshausen is a nationally known investment expert economist, author of more than 25 books. He is also the chairman and major organizer of the Freedom Fest, which is a gathering of around 2,000 independent thinkers, major players, movers and shakers. Steve Forbes, Peter Thiel, Marco Rubio is even attending, and on the political and business level, to exchange ideas and find solutions for four days in Las Vegas. So how many of you know the definition of obscene profits? It's something you always hear about, but never experience yourself. I thought I would show you some, uh, some very important charts to get the dialogue going on the specific topic of beating the market and how difficult it is to beat the market. The big profits go to the intelligent, careful, and patient investor, not to the reckless and overeager speculator. And that's what you get with the dividend paying stocks. What is really your view right now on the global financial outlook? The industrial country is going to have an increase uh, in GDP this year. That's the expectation. That's a pretty positive message. Despite all of the problems with Greece and so forth, we're, we're talking about Europe actually growing all the major uh, countries uh, this year. What drives the economy today? Is it consumer spending, government stimulus, business investment, or a combination of all? It's been one of my pet peeves that uh, Wall Street, uh, the financial media in general, uh, misconceive uh, what drives the economy. GDP is a narrow definition of economic activity. It measures only final output. It virtually ignores B to B. Ronald Reagan proved that, Margaret Thatcher proved that. Now, they were people of their time. There's no question there was time for them. And now it's time for a great leader to come forward. Thank you so much, Mark.